Revolution, annexation, and war. Ukraine's economy is struggling after going through the Euromaidan revolution last year, Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea, and its continued backing of militants in eastern Ukraine. On today's press review for Ukraine Today, we take a look at a piece in The Telegraph that paints a very dismal picture of the road to Ukraine's economy is heading down. For The Telegraph, Su Ping Chan quotes the World Bank, which believes Ukraine is facing years of recession as the country struggles to break ties with Moscow and implement structural reforms. While the organization expects Ukraine to emerge from recession in 2016, it said this forecast was subject to substantial risks, adding that the economy faced a prolonged period of contraction if trade relations between the two countries continued to deteriorate and the country failed to implement vital reforms to its energy and banking sectors. But economic pain is not being only felt in Ukraine. Russia is struggling too. Dmitry Medvedev, Russia's prime minister, admitted last week that the double shock of the collapse in oil prices and Western sanctions following the annexation of Crimea last year presented an unprecedented challenge for the economy. While Russia has to go it alone through economic stress, part of which is self-inflicted, Ukraine has been given a lifeline by the IMF. $17.5 billion was approved last month as part of a larger four-year bailout program. While that will surely help the Ukrainian economy, lawmakers are required to act fast and make sweeping reforms, which is not likely to go over very well with the voting public. Join us again tomorrow for another press review from the Ukraine Today newsroom in Kiev.